the Seattle, Oregon, and Idaho Wine Awards want to thank our prestigious evaluation panel. Over a thousand entries were scrutinized over two days in a single blind, socially distanced format. I look forward to learning. It's um, interesting to uh, you know sharpen my skills. I think you to become good at wine tasting, you have to taste a lot of wine. And this is a great way of doing it where you're getting to taste by varietal. You're tasting mostly, you know, wines that are from similar vintages. So it really allows you to kind of set benchmarks in your mind and in your, your memory pattern on what this wine should taste like or what this wine should taste like and what that quality tastes like. You just have to be ready to be, you know, when you want to make sure you're fresh and your, your taste buds are ready. And I think it's really good to be independent and not be skewed by the people at the table. So I want to, I want to be fair in my judging for the type of varietal and the type of style. Winemakers, wineries, and vineyard industries all benefit from the accolades and awards. And the judges' tasting notes can provide specific areas that stood out, great or not so great. I think the most valuable feedback for the winemaker is the comments that wine judges write down. What are the flavors they see in there? What are the positives and what are the deficiencies in, in a wine? To me, that's the best feedback that I, as a judge, can, can give. Being a winemaker, you're a little bit more discerned about the components of the grape and the fruit and the whole picture of uh, the wine and end product. So I suppose that would help you, the winemaker, to make the next batch or whether or not there's something you can learn from the experience. Each member of the panel brings an impressive resume, years of experience and wine knowledge, and expertise with Pacific Northwest varietals. Christopher always brings a really um, diverse panel that has a lot of experience in the industry. So you, he, you have the top people in Washington State evaluating the wines that have a lot of experience with wine, with good wine and flawed wine. This is my 35th year in the wine industry to, to see stylistically how things change and the pendulum of what is current or popular the trend lines. Uh, right now we're seeing a lot of Syrahs again, where before Syrah was out of favor. And proprietary blends, red blends, red blends, red blends, white blends, a lot of that. And bright and fresh aromatics to see Viognier and Chenin Blanc getting some more respect again. It, 35 years ago, we were all about aromatics and now it's coming back. I feel like with the Pacific Northwest wine, it's all about the collaboration that we've had with the wine growers, the winemakers, and just our quality of fruit and you know that the climate provides and, and the soil. So I feel like it's that whole package of having an abundance of incredible growing conditions, great fruit, but it's the people that make the area so special. When you find that complete wine, where it doesn't have a hole or it's not lacking in one area of the of the tasting profile, like we're you know we're going through today, we're tasting and we're smelling and we're the typicity, the the finish, how complex the wine might be, you know, if you have all of those components working well, that's what makes it think a great wine. Because Christopher Chan has expanded it to be the entire Northwest, I always look forward to. Idaho and Oregon and Southern Oregon wines. I like to see who's doing what. But I also look forward to like ciders and rosé um, because I'm so used to having big reds in front of me. So having those other beverages that are crisp and clean and summery, they're always fun to taste. Red, white, and rosé wines plus ciders and perry were subjected to a proprietary scoring system. We all carry bias into a judging, so I want to leave that behind. I want to know who made that wine or where it's from. Although uh, in, in judgings, you, depending on the wines, you might want to group them based on the region they come from. We certainly group them based on the variety because we want to evaluate the flavors that are typical for uh, the cultivar and for the region. We appreciate your participation and look forward to hosting another world-class wine and cider recognition program. 
Cheers to Great Pacific Northwest Wine, Perry, and Cider.